we are going to continue building upon our newfound programming skills by creating a temperature converter in Scratch. As always, I will give you all the background knowledge you need to complete this project successfully. Before we begin, it is important to remember that, unlike much of the world, we do not follow the metric system. Therefore, we even measure and report weather conditions somewhat differently than most countries do. In the United States, it is customary to report temperatures using the Fahrenheit scale, not the Celsius scale. But, since the majority of the world uses Celsius, we really need to be able to convert between the two different scales to understand the weather in other parts of the world. Before you can create a temperature converter, however, you need to know the formulas used to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius, as well as to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I have included a detailed example of both here. To convert something in Fahrenheit to Celsius, you subtract 32 from it and then multiply it by 5 divided by 9, or simply 5 ninths. To convert something in Celsius to Fahrenheit, multiply it by 9 divided by 5, or simply 9 fifths, and then you add 32. These conversions are perfect examples of formulas that undo one another. These are often referred to as inverse operations, or inverse functions. I highly recommend that you try this out for yourself. You can always go to Google and type in calculator, and it will bring up a web-based calculator that's just fine for performing this type of test. So here, I want to convert from 102 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I'm going to subtract 32 from it, and then multiply it by 5 divided by 9. When I do that, I get 38.9. So 102 degrees Fahrenheit is 38.9 in Celsius. And as you can see, that is a really big difference. What if I wanted to convert 102 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit? Well, then what I would do is I would multiply 102 by 9 divided by 5 and then add 32. If I do that, I get 215.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Also a very big difference. I highly recommend that before you write any program, you make sure you understand all the underlying formulas first. What will our temperature converter program do? Our temperature converter program will prompt the user for the temperature in one scale and then perform whatever conversion is necessary to convert it to the other scale. We will be using multiple variables and operators to complete this program. At the end, we will have Scratchcat report the results to the user. I will only be showing you how to create the Celsius to Fahrenheit converter today. Afterwards, you will be getting hands-on practice by doing the Fahrenheit to Celsius converter yourself. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by going to scratch.mit.edu. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in before I start my project. I'm going to click sign in. All right. Now I'm going to create a project, so I'm going to click on the Create button. I like to name my project as the first thing I do. So I'm going to go up here where it says Untitled. And I'm going to call this one Scratch Celsius to Fahrenheit Converter. All right, I've got my Scratch Cat. I'm happy with that. I really don't like my backdrop, so I'm going to take a look at that and add some swag here. So I'm going to choose from the library. Doesn't really matter what you do. I'll put Scratch Cat at the beach in Rio de Janeiro, just to give it a little bit of spice. All right, there we are. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be programming um, using different blocks, using this scripts tab, what the Scratch Cat's gonna do. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my scripts tab. The way we've been running our program so far is that we have been starting with the win green flag um, clicked event. So I'm going to continue on with that practice. The first thing I want Scratch Cat to be able to do is I want Scratch Cat to be able to ask the user for important information. In this case, I'm going to ask what is the temperature in Celsius and I'm going to wait. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data group and I'm going to create a couple variables. Remember, a variable is just a uh, fancy word for a place to store information in a program. I'm going to create two of them. One of them I'm going to call Celsius 
I'm gonna go ahead and say for this sprite only, but either way would work. And I'm also gonna create another variable called Fahrenheit. Because remember, in this program, I'm converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit. All right, so now I have a place to store the information that I ask from the user and to store the results of my calculation. So what happens in the program is the user clicks on the green flag and then they are asked, what is the temperature in Celsius? We sit there and we wait until the user actually provides us with the information. Once they've provided us with the information, we want to set the value of the Celsius variable to whatever comes back from this ask. You can get the value of what comes back by using this answer block. Okay, so let's test the program now. If I say what is the temperature in Celsius and I were to say 15, then you'll notice how Celsius, my variable, now has the value of 15. And that's important because we're going to be using that in our calculation. So once we have input from the user, our next job is to perform a calculation. I've given you the formulas and you're going to want to make sure that you refer to those. Go down to the operators group and grab whatever operators you need. I'm going to grab the one that multiplies two things together. So what I need to be able to do in my conversion, I need to be able to multiply Celsius by 9 divided by 5. So I'm going to need another operator. You can nest these, which is really helpful when performing these calculations. 9 divided by 5, and then multiply by Celsius, the value provided by the user. Last but not least, I need to add 32 to the result of that. So I take this, lock it into the left side of the plus operator block, and now I have my formula for converting Celsius to Fahrenheit just by grouping together these different operators. Now I'm going to set the value of my Fahrenheit variable to the result of these operations. Let's go ahead and do a little test here. Let's click our green flag. Let's say we did 102. As you can see, 102 Celsius does convert properly to 215.6 Fahrenheit. That's exactly what we want. Now our last part. The last part of the program is to let the user know about the results. We can use a say block to do that. So we're just going to say the answer to the user. But we need one more thing. Go to operators and find this join block. What I want to be able to do is I want to be able to have a meaningful message. In the first part, I'm going to say the temperature in Fahrenheit is, and I want to concatenate that together. So concatenate is a fancy word for like adding strings together, for adding textual content together. I'm going to go to data, and what do I want to report to the user? I want to report to the user the current value of Fahrenheit. So I want it to say the temperature in Fahrenheit is, and then followed by the current value that I calculated for Fahrenheit. I'm going to take that, slam it into the say, and I should have a functioning program. Let's test it out. What is the temperature in Celsius? 102. Press enter. And as you can see, Scratch Cat performs the calculation perfectly. He says the temperature in Fahrenheit is 215.6 degrees. Awesome. So this is how you can use operators and variables to build a meaningful program that does the heavy lifting for us. The next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I can share this. So let's go ahead and save now. Click share. If you want, you can put some instructions in. I'm going to let the end user know that they can tell Scratch Cat what temperature to convert. And once all that's saved, you will have completed your Scratch Celsius to Fahrenheit converter.